Yes, reading books, watching videos, and listening to podcasts is a very useful activity for serving as a paid mentor. Think about that. You get a chance to read books and watch the videos and listen to podcasts while you're working. Because there's a lot to be said for what books have to offer, what the authors are bringing to you. I call them a book mentor. The videos that you get to watch is that you get to see the actual body language and the actions the person is taking in relation to whatever they may be doing. And I'll give you a couple of examples. And listening to podcasts is often the podcasts are really about the stories behind what the person has gone through, their, their lived experience, but also giving you some of the tips and tools and techniques that you can actually put into action yourself. And welcome, welcome, Dr. Stephen Hobbs here from The Wealth Movement. I have been a facilitative mentor for 30 plus years, and I have grown to truly understand the, the, the meaning, the, uh, the contribution that mentoring offers in terms of being of service, of being for the world. And I make a distinction between the mentoring and the coaching to the extent that I actually have a coaching and mentoring course that I offer where you're able to sort out the, the connection, but also the competition and the collaboration about what's going on in, for those two ways of interacting with people. So the link is here and also you'll find it at the end. I'm gonna turn my attention more towards the mentoring aspect of it because of my lived experience but also, I find that it's a great way in which to interact with a person, uh, to really bring out the humanity, to evolve the mentee. And I'm not putting a slight against coaching. It's a great educating approach. It serves uh, the world in a great way. It's just that I know that I'm not a coach. I've learned that through my own practice. And I am a mentor. I have that in my heart in my head in my hands and i bring that uh, whenever i serve someone now the key with mentoring is is that the mentee is tapping in to the lived experience of the mentor and therefore being able to uh, share from that perspective is a great way to bring to the table uh, insights and ideas in response to the questions that the mentee is asking and often you find yourself sharing stories to be able to give the mentee some insight, another way of looking at it. And let me just give you a couple of examples here. And I'm, I'm going to use the, um, the movies, videos way of doing it. If you think of the Karate Kid series, and there's a number of them there, uh, Mr. Miyagi, he was helping Daniel to learn karate. And he did it with a bit of a mix of coaching and mentoring, but he certainly came from a mentoring perspective. And when I watch those series, it's great to be able to pick out the difference between the mentoring and coaching and to be able to go, hmm, how might I use that movie if I was sharing a story about explaining my practice of mentoring to the mentee and how I might use coaching if I was to include it. Another one is um, a recent uh, movie, The Intern, uh, with Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway, about a 70-year-old uh, retiree who wanted to become an intern at a fashion company. And what they went through to be able to work together. And it was a great sense of mentoring that was going on and how that character of The Intern by Robert De Niro played itself out with the owner of the fashion company, Anne Hathaway. I would encourage if you've not seen it or go back and look at it again and look at it through the eyes of a mentor. Uh, Robert De Niro had this experience. He was able to bring it to um, Anne Hathaway. The other thing that really is interesting that I find with, with mentoring is that in our lived experience, we have our research that we've done. We, we went out and looked for concepts but we also have our results, which come from our practices. 
And as a mentor, by sharing our stories, answering questions, we're able to report on those results and on that research. But the great thing is, if by watching the videos, reading the books, listening to the podcasts, you actually can draw from more insights because you can tap in to other person's research and results and be able to weave their stories into the story you're sharing with your mentee. So that's why I see it's of great value to be able to watch the videos, to be able to read the books, to listen to the podcasts, to be able to serve in this capacity as a paid mentor. I encourage you to keep reading and watching and listening. Now, the other part that I would um, emphasize here is I've shared a couple of videos, uh, at least three, um, around uh, Kurt Lewin as a book mentor, Dale Carnegie as a book mentor, and Doug Lawrence from a deep practice perspective. And I'll put those links in the, um, the show more notes uh, below. I would, I would encourage you to go back and watch those and look at them through the eyes of uh, this reading and watching and listening uh, perspective. Now, the other example that I will give to you, and this happened today, is that I was reading a blog post from Chip Conley. Now, Mr. Conley is associated with the Modern Elder Academy, but he spent a number of years uh, supporting Airbnb's growth. And he actually had a boss who was younger than him, and the two of them uh, were working together, and uh, in a sense, both were mentors and mentees. And what he came up with was the term mentern, and it's this combination of mentor and intern. He was an intern to his boss, and his boss was an intern to uh, Mr. Conley, and he coined that term. And I just thought it was very timely because I was going to um, share this video with you today that I actually picked up that blog post. I'll put a link into the show notes below so that you can um, go read it. There's also uh, a video that he shot at the Modern Elder Academy, and I'll put a website address for that as well. In summary here, like, like a recap, is that reading books, watching videos, listening to podcasts are good for you serving as a paid mentor because you have more insights and ideas to draw from, uh, to use the metaphors of the movies, to draw the insights of the lived stories coming from the podcast, to be able to bring the book into the room and, and use it as a book mentor to go along with the conversations that you're having, and also to encourage the mentee to go read the books, watch the videos, and listen to the podcasts as well. Now, that's it for this video. I, I thank you for uh, joining me. Um, I encourage you to subscribe, uh, like, comment this video. Uh, we, always, we always appreciate it. And make sure on YouTube is ring the bell so that you receive notifications of when the next video is available. Now again, that course is uh, about ready to launch out, uh, looking for people to join it. It's about coaching and mentoring, about looking at their connection, uh, looking at the competition between them, and looking at the collaboration about how they work together. And it's a great course. It's got lots and lots of ideas that I have drawn from spending many hours on YouTube looking at what other people have been sharing along with what it is that I've written in my books about mentoring. And I would encourage you to uh, learn a little bit more by going to the website below and you'll notice it on the end as well. So again, make sure that you uh, subscribe and comment below. Uh, I always appreciate hearing what you've got to, uh, to share. And just put it in place here, you actually had a chance to watch a video that will help you from a paid mentoring point of view. And in a sense, I encouraged you about reading the books and to listening to the podcasts. So with that, take care.